Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple CAM and follow mechanism. Here we will see how a CAM and follow mechanism works. We will define it. We will make each and every part and assemble and we will give a small animation at the end. So the beginners and newcomers will know how we will make the animations and assembly. It is widely used mechanism in the world. So let's see and let's do it in SOLIDWORKS. Now here we will do our first part base. So let's start. Choose top plane, a sketch, circle and draw a circle from origin point. And here you can define the radius, let's say 100 millimeter. If you want to check, just choose a smart dimension, see 200 millimeter diameter. Okay. And select extruded boss and extrude only up to 10 millimeter. Okay. Select the top face, sketch, normal. Select vertical, horizontal line, center line, S center rectangle. Okay, now let's define it. Thirteen point seven millimeter. 21.2 millimeter and let's make the distance from here to origin point 77.5 millimeter okay now choose here circular pattern this is your center point and entities to pattern so select this all lines we want to make four numbers so equal spacing and let's make four number of patterns see here you can see the preview here okay now that's it fully defined sketch calculate just make it undo uh, this is sufficient no need to define if you want to define just uh, extend your all the dimensions here and that's all so simply select extruded boss and extrude up to 30 millimeter see here okay now let's change the color this better okay now select this face a sketch circle and draw a circle here now let's define the dimension 20 millimeter 7 millimeter okay now choose center point or origin point and make relation vertical now see it's fully defined so select extruded cut now we want to extrude up to through all so in both the wall we can pass through that's it okay now see the hole now the same way we have to do it here or uh, let's try another way choose uh, any face plane select right plane a sketch circle okay seven millimeter and let's make the dim dim dimension 20 millimeter okay let's choose center point and origin point and make relation vertical select extruded cut now here see make end condition mid plane now see this is the another way you can choose by any planes okay that's it now again check this top face 
स्केच सर्कल एंड ड्रॉ ए सर्कल इन मिड पॉइंट और सेंटर पॉइंट यू कैन सी लेट्स मेक दी डायमीटर ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड सेलेक्ट एक्सक्लूडेड बॉस एंड हीयर चूज अप टू सॉफेस सेलेक्ट एनी फोर ऑफ एनी वन सॉफेस फ्रॉम फोर ऑफ दिस ओके दैट्स इट सो दिस इज यवर बेस इट्स रेडी सो लेट्स सेव इट here create new folder cam and follower mechanism now here save the first part base now let's try the another part this one chamfer 0.5 select off face make it 2 mm okay now save it now here we will start the very important part of cam and follow mechanism cam so let's make a simple cam choose top plane a sketch circle let's draw a circle and keep the diameter 25.05 mm okay choose a spline exit now this is our simple cam if you want to make little adjustment it's up to you it should looks like cam okay dimension you can you can assign up to 34 mm that's enough for uh, us okay now select extruded boss extrude up to 30 mm okay now select the top face a sketch circle and draw one small circle and uh, let's keep the diameter 6 mm and extrude it up to 10 mm only okay now choose the appearance and uh, define any one color this is also perfect let's try blue but this also looks okay now save it part number 2 cam and let's make the rod final part here let's make the third part follower a follower rod so let's make it uh, top plane sketch circle and draw a circle choose a smart dimension and let's say 6.95 mm okay and extrude it extrude up to 120 mm okay choose chamfer keep 3 mm chamfer and 45 mm diameter angle 45 degree okay now see uh better we will increase because we want here sharp point three 
थ्री पॉइंट फाइव ऑल्सो वी विल डू वन थिंग वी विल रिड्यूस दिस सिक्स मिलीमीटर ओके नाउ लेट्स चेक नाउ दिस इज द शार्प पॉइंट ऑलमोस्ट At this point, we need to contact with follower. Now, let's define. Let's assign some material. Go to appearance, metal, steel, satin finish steel. और लेस चूज सम एट्रैक्टिव कलर सो इट विल बी इजीली विजिबल फॉर अस ओके दस लुकिंग नाइस कलर नाउ सेव इट सॉरी पार्ट नंबर थ्री फॉलो Now let's start the assembly and we will create an animation of cam. Now here let's start the assembly of cam and follower mechanism. So choose here new assembly. Okay, this is the assembly window. So first uh, browse over first part, base, and select cam also. This is the base, and this is the cam. Let's set the plane. now go to assembly mat select these two faces concentric relation okay select this top face and this face coincident relation okay now see okay now keep like this so it looks uh, good visibility okay now insert component browse and select the follower mat select this inside hole and this rod make it reverse okay concentric relation okay now drag it here now this hole is quite looking bigger so we will edit how you will edit it just select this body open part extrude cut edit select this this dimension keep 6.05 mm exit now select the second one edit here also change 6.05 mm exit now we change the dimension select cancel here it will ask you save or not select yes save here also save in assembly yes now see it fix properly now we need to bring four number of rods here so select control key and copy one Two, three. Now we have to adjust one by one. One, two. Concentric relation. Okay. This one. Concentric relation. Make it reverse, because we want point this side. Okay. Drag it. now the last one select this face and this hole make it reverse okay now see now a important relation is going to be fixed here so just uh, go down mechanical mat choose here cam
again choose mat now select here cam select cam path so this is your cam path and select contact select this point that's it see it's going to attach with this cam okay again choose cam this and select this center point this sharp point now see it's if you select then it will automatically attach with the path okay let's try see both rotating now select this cam again path and select this center point or you can say vertex of this save again the fourth one this is the path the side wave not top select side wave side side of this cam and uh, for follower select this point or vertex okay okay now our cam shaft and cam and follower relation is created you can see it is rotating very beautifully now do one thing just save this assembly rebuild and save cam and follower assembly now right click here and select motion manager go to motion study up this window choose here basic motion uh let's keep 50 frame per second and uh, let's drag it up to 12 mm a uh, 12 second it's up to you how much you like to do now select here motor and you have to rotate any one part so we will uh, try to rotate this cam so we will select one edge this is this see this circular edge we selected allow rpm let's keep 30 revolution per minute constant speed okay and here select calculate now it's slowly slowly calculating once it will finish you can see the preview how it's rotating cam and follow a mechanism down play now see how beautifully is working cam and follow a mechanism i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and <coughs> share our videos <coughs> if you want to save this animation click save from here you can choose your destination this is the name file name avi file you can save it this is the image size you can uh, adjust the image size from here or you can custom aspect ratio i'll always prefer 16 by 9 because this is better for youtube and frame per second i'll make higher 50 frame save i will uncheck this key because uh, it creates a lot of problem because i am not using a standard or any uh, big graphics card select okay now once you select okay it will automatically recalculate the whole procedure and once it uh, recalculated it will automatically save in your destination and uh, definitely it looks very nice and very beautiful thanks for watching